Hi, it's Chris here for TechTablets.com. Got in front of me here two Tech Class X98 Airs. One of them is running Windows 10, the other is Windows 8.1 Bing. And I wanted to have a look at the scores and see if there was much of a difference between them. Now the one closest to the camera here is running, running uh, 8.1. And you can see the score there is almost 14,000. This is the 3D Mark I Storm Unlimited score there. And if we go and have a look at the Windows 10 Air 3G, both of these models are the C5J6 by the way, so 64 GB of storage. And it's a little bit faster here. Now that could easily be down to drivers, maybe slightly different conditions with the CPU temperatures, throttling whatnot. But I did run both of them from cold, both of them from a fresh reboot, so to make it as fair as I could. Now I'll just show you the Geekbench 3 scores around that as well to see if there was much of a difference. So this is Geekbench 3 here on the Windows 10 X98 Air 3G. And if I run that now on the 8.1 Bing version, slightly less score there. So it seems to be slightly faster, maybe Windows 10 drivers. I mean, that, that is so minimal, that difference that it's gonna really make absolutely no difference. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do here is just reboot both of the devices and see how long they take to turn on. So we've got Windows 10 versus Windows 8.1 startup time, which is faster. So I thought that might be a little bit interesting here. So if I try to restart them at the same time, hopefully I can do that here. Um, just see which one powers down faster. And, oh no, update and restart there, so I can't do that. I'm gonna have to, just gonna shut both of them down and then turn them on and see which one boots up quicker and then have a look at the free available RAM to see what consumes more RAM. So if I go shut down and shut down here. Okay, so they're both shutting down at the moment. And we can see that yeah, the Windows 10 one's taking out a lot longer to shut down there. Okay, so they're both off. Power them both on the dual, dual boot menu. Sorry, should boot up again on both of them. Hmm. Okay, the one at the top didn't want to come on. Doesn't seem to want to boot up for me. Okay. So it looks like it may have even had a bit of a failed shutdown there. There we go. Okay. So both now on the dual boot menu here. And I'll have a look and see which one starts up the quickest. So Windows is selected on both of them. And now I'm going to hit this at the same time. Hopefully I can time that correctly. Okay. So let's see which one is quicker to boot up here. Okay, so yeah, 8.1 is a lot quicker there. Definitely much quicker. And you can see that now Windows 10 is loading up. And we've been in the desktop here of the 8.1 for quite some time now. So it's a lot slower than Windows 10. At least in these conditions that is at the moment. And both of them are fresh installs. Uh, there's not a lot of applications. There's nothing that it should be affecting that boot speed there. So that's in tablet mode. I'm just going to go to, to, to the task manager on both of them. And have a look at the free RAM. So task manager. Oh, get out of this tablet mode. Okay. Come on, Windows 10. Search. There we go. It's a little bit laggy there, a little bit choppy. Oops, now I want the keyboard. Okay. Task manager. Task manager. Okay, so about the same. Uh, something's going on with the disk here. Maybe it's in Windows updates. So that's at 100%, but both the memories are at 50%. Uh, 
Um, but I'll just show you that on the camera. So the free memories, 55. There's something going on here, but both of them are at 50. So results-wise, they seem to be uh, around about the same. And I do not know what is going on there. Some Windows update is happening. Yeah, Windows modules. Damn, Windows update. Ruining my test. Okay, so that's not really helping there. We'll have to wait for that to finish. I'll pause the video, let it finish, and then do another reboot and have a look at the free memory. Okay, so after that failed attempt, I'm going to try again now. I have both the machines on the boot menu. On the left here, we have the Windows 10 and then Windows 8.1 here. So go and start them both at the same time and see which one's the quickest. Wasn't a fair test the last one because Windows Update was doing something. So I've disabled Windows Update on the Windows 8.1 unit now. Pesky Windows Update there, slowing things down in the background. Okay, so Windows 8.1 wins on the desktop and Windows 10 is still working away. Now these both, both these models have the Samsung eMMC in there, so they're both pretty much the same kind of speed. So taking into account that the drive speed's about the same. Okay, so that was what, about five seconds or so slower. Definitely looks like Windows 8.1 seems a little bit quicker. Go into the task manager now and have a look at the free resources, RAM usage, task manager. Why is that not working? Clicking search here and it's touching it. Okay, desktop mode then. Try again. All right, finally. I gotta tap and get the keyboard up, which is a little bit annoying there. Task manager. So they are round about the same there, like 40, actually there's slightly less usage there of RAM on Windows 8.1, hovering around 43% and got about 47, 48% on the Windows 10 install there. So the CPU is still doing something. Okay, now 42. Maybe so, maybe Windows 10 is a little bit heavier. It definitely seems to me, because when you're using the menus, I just noticed that sometimes it can be a little bit more laggier than the Windows 8.1 menu, getting around things. And of course, you've got to use that tablet mode if you want to have the screen like that. It just doesn't seem as fast or fluid there. It's not bad, but there, there's a bit of a difference there. So there we go, that was just a little quick comparison there. You can see when it comes down to the graphics and the CPU, they're basically identical. And the boot up times, Windows 8.1 slightly faster, maybe using slightly less resources. Thank you for watching the video and hopefully I'll catch you in my next up and coming video on tablets from China. Bye for now.